Hey guys, Shane with TNVC. Today we're going to be talking about dual tube night vision. There's a lot of different options out there and what's best for you. Is it going to be a fixed bridge system or an articulating bridge system? Now I don't have all the options that are available out on the market or even through TNVC, but I do have some of the most popular options available today. So the first option we're going to talk about is the RNVG by AB Night Vision. So this is a fixed bridge dual tube goggle and exactly as it sounds it's a rugged night vision device so the great thing about this is because it is an all aluminum 775 construction it is an extremely durable dual tube system it is pvs 14 style lenses so a wealth of accessories on the market are compatible with these so on the front you have the objective focus by turning this bezel on either side. If you look inside, you have threads on the inside. So if you put any sacrificial lenses or any accessories, that will accept those threads. If you look on the back side on the diopter or ocular focus, this is how you focus the actual uh, image to your eye. On the back, you have these rings that you can remove for the rubber eye cups. And then on the back on either side, you have your IPD stops, your interpupillary distance. So what this will do is, depending on your distance between your eyes, you can adjust this. So every time that you go to deploy and stow from your helmet mount, it's in the exact same spot that you need for your preference. So if you come to the front here, you have your battery cap which takes a single CR123 lithium battery, gives you about 15 or so hours of use on a single battery. Similar to the PVS14, you have your on-off knob. So one click is gonna be on. You do have a momentary illuminator. It is a spring-loaded. So if you rotate it once past that on, it is gonna be a momentary until you release that switch. If you do want a constant on, you just pull out on that knob, and rotate until it clicks. And then to turn it off, you go one back and then turn the device off your last click. These are configured for a dovetail configuration. So any G24 by Wilcox or G22 Neurotos Losto USMC will accept this configuration. One thing that I didn't mention is with this knob and the IR illuminator, right here you'll see this lens and it is the IR illuminator that projects. Now keep in mind that is a task illumination, so it's not gonna be a very wide area illumination like a Surefire M340V or something like that. That's gonna be for administrative tasks only. All right, the next system we're gonna talk about is the DTMVS made by Acton Black. So this is one of the lightest weight dual tube goggle systems out on the market. And so this is the, the second version of what was the DTMVG. Similar to the RMVG, you do have the PVS-14 style objective and diopter focus lenses. On the inside, you still have this threaded area, so you can put sacrificial lenses or any lens filters that are needed. Uh, on that front side. Same thing with the RMVG, you have your ocular adjustments and your diopter focus, and it still has that threaded portion on the inside for any uh, adjustments or filters that you're gonna be using. Now, if you see on the back side here, um, so there's two variations of the DTMVS. You have one with an interpupillary distance stop and one without. This one in particular does not have the interpupillary distance stop. That is an add-on feature that you can get when you order them from TNVC.com. All right, and again, like the RMVG, what that does is when you go to articulate the goggle and you have that IPD stop set, it'll come back at the exact same position every single time. So with the RNVG, ruggedized system, obviously that is a fixed bridge system. This is an articulating system, which means each pod articulates independently from each other. So similar to the PVS-14, you do have the same switchology of your on-off switch as one click on, and then if you pull and rotate it one more, that's gonna be your IR illuminator. The DTMBS is powered by a single CR123 lithium battery, giving you about 15 hours or so of use. All right, and lastly on this table, we have new from AB Night Vision is the RNVG-A. Previously, when it was first released, it was called the ARNVG, but here at TNVC, we call it the RNVG-A just to keep in line with the RNVG family. 
So that A stands for articulating. So similar with the R and VG, you have an all aluminum 775 construction housing. So it's definitely a little bit beefier and more rugged than the DTMVS, only adding about two to four ounces to the overall system compared to the DTMBS. So you do have the PVS-14 style objective lenses and you still have the threaded adapters on the inside for any accessories, sacrificial lenses, and filters that are needed. Going to the back side again, on your diopter and ocular focus, you still have that threaded portion, so if you did want to put filters on, you still can do that. Your ocular diopter focus is going to be for just that, your focus on the image itself, whereas your objective focus is going to be for the distance. So this is an articulating goggle, why it has the RMBGA designation. So it does articulate independently. And the nice thing about the RMVGA is if you zoom in right here on these silver magnet uh, buttons on the bottom, those are an automatic cutoff. So if you do articulate one of the pods independently, it is gonna automatically shut off that pod. So that's a great feature that, was, that had come out on the RMVGA. In addition, this one does have a CR123 lithium battery port. But unlike the DTMVS, this also has a Limo port connector if you want to run an external battery pack like the AB Night Vision low profile battery pack or even the L3 Harris cold weather battery pack. So that does come standard, which is a great feature when they came out with this goggle. One thing that I will point out on the RMVGA that we have noticed is this dovetail shoe does sit slightly more forward than the DTMVS. And what we have found is on the pre-2021 production of the G24 that does not have the extended travel, sometimes that does not give you enough travel distance to clear any sort of eye pro uh, step in visor on an ops core helmet or uh, any sort of gas mask that you might be using so for that reason you know we would recommend going with the post 2021 production of the g24 or the g22e that has that extended travel we are currently building these in-house at tnbc uh, there are several different options available for them and different upgrades that are available. Definitely give us a call or reach out to us by email at sales at tmbc.com. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and we're here to help you with any of your night vision needs.